Good morning and welcome back. We'll continue with the poem, A Thing of Beauty. Today, we'll read the second stanza. The second stanza says, Therefore, on every morrow, are we wreathing a flowery band to bind us to the earth. Spite of despondence, of the inhuman dearth of noble natures, of the gloomy days, of all the unhealthy and overdarkened ways made for our searchings. Yes, in spite of all, some shape of beauty moves away the pall from our dark spirits. So this is the second stanza. So here in the second stanza, he begins by saying, therefore, Therefore, here relates us to the first uh, stanza where we have talked about the sources of joy, that is the beauty of nature, or the beautiful things that we see in nature, or the beautiful things that we feel in our life, which are a permanent or constant source of joy. So he connects us to that in this second stanza. On every morrow, morrow here means in the next day, are we wreathing a flowery band to bind us to the earth. So in the previous uh, stanza, we talked about that calm and peaceful sleep as a result of that shady place, and we are enjoying health. So here he is talking about the kind of connection that we make with the nature the things of beauty. So in the next day, the following day when we wake up, it is like we are wreathing. Wreathing here means weaving or encycling ourselves with a flowery band. A band is like, uh, you can say a wristband or it's a, cir a circular thing that connects us to something. You can also think about chain. So we are making a a uh, kind of a chain or a thread with which we connect ourselves with the earth. And that is like a chain or thread or a band of a flower, a flowery band. Here is also used as a metaphor or an imagery. So there is a very, you can say, prominent imagery here. We can form a, a beautiful image of flowery bands. I'll show you what a uh, flowery band looks like in the next slide, us to the earth. So these beautiful memories bind us to the earth. And these are all the beautiful things that we see. But in the next lines, okay here, uh, sorry, we'll move on here. Uh, when we wake up the next morning after a sound sleep, all the beautiful memories of our sweet dreams help us to strengthen our bond with the earth. So this is what I talked about a little bit earlier. That is why the poet feels that every morning we prepare a wreath of flowers that bind us to earth more strongly. Uh, okay. So this is a wreath. Okay, so it is like a band or a circular thing, and cycle, circular thing that is made of flowers. All these flowers are the beautiful memories that we have formed uh, about nature, about uh, the feelings, strong feelings like love, unconditional love. Okay, wreathing here means weaving or encycling. So it is like weaving a wreath, a flower wreath, or like encycling our life with beautiful bands that connects us to the earth. So that is a strong imagery, or you can say a metaphor, okay? The sweet memories are compared to this wreath, which uh, connects us to the earth. Flowery band means beautiful and pleasant, things, the memories that we form, the beautiful memories that we form after seeing these beautiful things in nature or after experiencing these beautiful feelings like unconditional love, kindness, and sympathy. Spite of despondence, of the inhuman dearth of noble natures, of the gloomy days, of all the unhealthy and overdarkened ways, so, sorry, overdarkened ways made for our searching. So now he moves on, or you can say he starts talking about our human life. That I told you in the uh, first lesson, 
keeps on changing with the change on time, change in time, I would say. So our life is dependent on time. There is always change in our lives. He is talking about that. Or our life, human life is full of sufferings, full of um, hopelessness, loneliness, and sadness. He is talking about that. He says, in spite of despondence, it is important for us to understand this, this uh, word spite here. If you think about this spite and think about, you can say, a synonym. What do you think can be a synonym for this word? Spite means malice. Malice means desire to hurt others, desire to annoy others. So he says, spite of despondence. Despondence means depression. Or you can say sadness. So our life is full of all this malices, depression, and of inhuman dearth of noble natures, meaning a world is full of people who lack noble natures, noble qualities. That means there are many wicked people in the world who are responsible for all these sufferings in the world of the gloomy days. So because of these qualities of human nature, the wickedness, uh, the uh, desire to hurt others or annoy others, our days becoming uh, our days become gloomy. Gloomy means sad. So our life is full of sadness, of all the unhealthy and over darkened ways. So because of that, our life, the whole world becomes unhealthy. Okay, and all these are made by our own actions. Our darkened ways made for our surging. Our surging here means all these uh, negativities in our lives are the results of our own actions. Here, depression, sadness, and lack of noble human ways are part of human life. Life is full of trials, tribulations, loss of faith, and disappointments which result from our own doings, from our own actions, which are the results of our negative thoughts. So negative thoughts are, you can say directly, the uh, source of the sufferings in the world. We harm ourselves by following unhealthy and wicked paths. Due to our uh, negative thoughts, we always follow the wrong path, wrong way. As we follow the wrong path or the wrong way, then it leads us to more suffering, depression, and um, you can say lack of trust, confidence. These are things that we have in our life as contrast to the permanent beauty of nature. The beautiful things in nature are permanent. They do not change but our life keeps on changing like this. Yes, in spite of all, some shapes of beauty moves away the pall from our dark spirits. He moves on and says, yes, in spite of all, again, he is here giving a contrast. Even though our life is full of all these trials and tribulations, sufferings, he says, but still there is hope of happiness, joy in our life. And this hope is given to us by nature, the beauty, beauty of nature, the beautiful things in nature. Some shape of beauty moves away the pall from our dark spirits. Pall here means sadness gloominess, okay? Uh, all these beautiful things uh, move away, means remove the sadness and suffering from our dark spirits. Dark spirit means sad minds, sign, sad souls. All these are removed by the beautiful things in nature. So here he says, but in spite of all these these here means the sufferings, the miseries, the unhappiness, all these things. Some wonderful sights of nature help us to shed sad and grim thoughts. As I said, the beautiful things of nature help us to relieve ourselves from all these uh, negative thoughts in our life. They remove the veil of gloom 
bringing about hope and optimism in our lives. The beautiful things in nature, the things of uh, the things in nature, remove the veil of gloom. Veil is like a covering of sadness. It uh, uncovers the sadness and bring about hope, optimism, joy, and happiness into our lives. So these are all possible because of the beautiful things in nature, the permanent beauty in nature. So here in this stanza, he conveys a very strong message. And what is that message? The message is, this stanza conveys that life is full of hopelessness and sad sadness. That is natural for all of us to experience sadness and hopelessness. But there is a lack, uh, there is a lack of noble feelings among men. This is also possible. We cannot expect every person to be noble and kind. There are number of people who lack uh, noble feelings and positive uh, thoughts. But still, in spite of all this, meaning even though there are all these negativity in the world, but still there are some things that brings optimism into our life. And what are those things? There are the beautiful things. He says, some beautiful things help us to shed our sad and grim thoughts. The beautiful thoughts, which are the result of the beautiful uh, things in nature, like as I told you before, the kindness, uh, unconditional love, all these help us to remove all this sadness and uh, gloominess from our mind. So that is what he says in the second stanza. Okay, now we have done the second stanza. I want you to practice your writing by uh, answering these four questions. Again, I'm stressing that it is important for you to answer these questions on your own because till now you have listened and read. But to learn something holistically, it is important for us to integrate. So please answer these questions yourself and do not consult anything before you do it. After you have done it, then you can consult um, any other sources like the internet to see whether your answers are correct or not. The first question are, what are the flowery bands that bind us to the earth? And the second, why are we despondent? What removes the pall from our dark spirits and explain the inhuman dearth of human nature? Thank you. And with this, we come to the end of the second stanza and we will continue with the following stanzas.